How to Control Anger and Negativity Feeling angry or frustrated can be a signal that something needs to change. If you don't change the situations or thought patterns that are causing these uncomfortable emotions, you will continue to be triggered by them. Here are 17 ways to help you handle negative emotions. 1. Be aware of how you feel. When you have a negative emotion, such as anger, try to name what you're feeling. The key job of your emotions is to get you to see the problem, so you can make necessary changes. 2. Don't hide how you feel from yourself. Don't suppress your feelings entirely. Recognizing a feeling is a lot better than pretending not to have it, or exploding without thinking. 3. Know why you feel the way you do. Figure out what happened that got you feeling the way you do. 4. Don't blame. Being able to recognize and explain your emotions isn't the same as blaming someone or something for the way you feel. 5. Accept all your emotions as understandable. Don't judge yourself for the emotions you feel. It's normal to feel them. Acknowledging how you feel can help you move on, so don't be hard on yourself. 6. Think before you speak. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to say something you'll later regret. Take a few moments to collect your thoughts before saying anything and allow others involved in the situation to do the same. 7. Think about the best way to express your emotion. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Of course what you say is important but just remember that how you say it is at least half of the message. 8. Learn how to change your mood. At a certain point, you'll want to shift from a negative mood into a positive one. Otherwise your thinking may get stuck on how bad things are, and that can drag you down into feeling worse. Try doing things that make you happy, even if you don't feel like it at the time. 9. Build positive emotions. Positive feelings create a sense of happiness and well-being. Noticing the good things even when you're feeling bad can help you shift the emotional balance from negative to positive. 10. Take a time out. Give yourself short breaks during times of the day that tend to be stressful. A few moments of quiet time might help you feel better prepared to handle what's ahead without getting irritated or angry. 11. Don't hold a grudge. Forgiveness is a powerful tool. If you can forgive someone who angered you, you might both learn from the situation and strengthen your relationship. 12. Use humor to release tension. Lightening up can help diffuse tension. Use humor to help you face what's making you angry and, possibly, any unrealistic expectations you have for how things should go. 13. Practice relaxation skills. When your temper flares, put relaxation skills to work. Practice deep breathing exercises, imagine a relaxing scene, or repeat a calming word or phrase, such as take it easy. 14. Seek support. Talk about how you are feeling with a parent or a friend. They can help you explore your emotions and give you a fresh way of thinking about things. 15. Exercise. Physical activity helps the brain produce natural chemicals that promote a positive mood. Exercise also can release stress. 16. Morning routine. How we start our day affects how the rest of our activities unfold. Before you get out of bed, take a couple of breaths and think something positive. 17. Sleep on it. Sleep deprivation is a huge culprit in negative moods, including anxiety and depression. Researchers found that people who reported frequent sleep disturbances tended to fixate on negative emotions more. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.